Hi everyone, if you have too much text on your slide, you may want to consider using animation to reveal one section of that text at a time. And it will look just like this. You have a four step process and you want to describe it to your audience, but you don't want them to read ahead. So you're not going to show it until it's time to present about section one. And then I'm going to tell you about section one and all the detail that goes into it. And you're just your attention is completely focused on section one. And then we're going to talk about step two. And step two, you're completely focused on this section two of the four step process. And then we're going to focus on step three. And then finally, we're going to focus on step four. And after I'm done talking about step four, I will show you the entire process uh, in its entirety. And you can print this slide for later use. You can read and refer to this slide if you must have this much text on your slide. Now, of course, in PowerPoint, you can have a slide with different animations that you add to each of these different objects, but you can also do it sort of the brute force method in a design build, a slide design build. And I'm going to show you how to do that on the back end. So if you first, you have to start first with your fully designed slide. And I have this fully designed slide right here. There's no animation on this slide. It's just the it's just the total slide here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to work backwards. So this is the uh, full slide that I want to end with. And then I'm going to push Control D to duplicate this slide. And now that first one, I can actually take away everything all the other sections except for that last section because that's what I want to present there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that final slide again. I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to delete step four and highlight step two and one because now that's the third one. I'm going to go back to my final slide. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to drag that duplicate up. This is going to be for step two. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything except for step two. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this slide, drag it all the way up. And I'm going to go ahead and delete those last ones. And then one more slide. I'm going to duplicate and go all the way to the top. And this is going to be my entrance slide with just the title. So now you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six different slides that make up the entire animation. I'm going to go ahead and play it in slideshow mode. Here's one. Click. Now these are six different slides, but it looks like it's just one different slide. And that's one way you can keep things consistent, but you don't have to deal with adding or subtracting different animations to your slide.